All right, welcome back. This is the uh, ZZ350 engine that's now going to be a 383 for Larry Holmes. A while back, I was waiting for this cam plate. It's an unusual size. So then uh, it arrived and I was able to degree the cam. I had to put it in the advanced position in order to uh, get it close to the to the cam card. Ended up being 105 intake center line at the cam card once 107. So then I could put the timing cover on. It's a real nice Holly uh, cast aluminum timing cover. And while I'm at it, I, I put that damper on and I was with the head off, I could make sure what top dead center, um, it's easier to find it then. Uh, here's a look at the cylinder heads. They're from uh, Eric Weingartner Racing. Basically just a, um, a low cost Brodix. So it uh, turns out I needed to get head gaskets, and while waiting for them, it turned the uh, oil pan that is going to be put on is the uh, a Champ oil pan, and it came with a pickup, which actually is just a 5 8 diameter. I'm not a fan of those, but it turns out that I had uh, laying around the uh, like a 10 5 4 pump that has the 3 quarter inch pickup. So Larry had a, a shark's tooth there. I think it was a 10553 that has a smaller pickup. So I just swapped them over, test fit the uh, pump and the pickup in the pan to see if there's no interference. Turns out that the uh, like the the clearance from the bottom of the pan to that oil pump screen was a, a little uh, well, it was at a half inch, which is uh, I think good enough. And there's the final fit and install of the oil pan. The head gaskets finally arrived. The uh, the Cometic, uh, that's the part number right there. They're 36 thou thick because the, the pistons were about like 12 in the hole. So I figured that would be a, a good compromise. The cylinder heads. So they're Brodix 180s. They're... Uh, Intake CC, there are 64 CC chambers. Uh, they came with 3 8 rocker studs, so they're going to get changed out the 7 16 2 2 intake valves and 1.6 in exhaust valves. Uh, Eric did a, a little bit of bowl blending and the intake runner uh, port matching, but nothing much more, just a very mild amount of work. That's a good look of the cylinder heads. Basically straight out of the box with a little touch-up from Eric Weingartner. All right, the cylinder heads got put on with your standard ARP head bolts at 70 foot-pounds. It's a good-looking engine. Uh, both heads are on and... I'm going to put the roller rockers on. Uh, Larry bought some Lenati's uh, one six ratios, so uh, I swapped over to the seven sixteenths ARP studs there. So those were torqued to forty five foot pounds. Now it's uh, check for rocker geometry. I put seven point two zero zero inch long push rods in, and did the witness marks there, and I think that is pretty good so we're going to go with 7.2 just a picture there to show that the the push rod gets pretty close to the uh, cylinder head there's it's not touching but it's pretty close all right so all the roller rockers are installed went on pretty without drama pretty easily and now it's time to kind of to uh put his intake manifold on the the intake gasket actually matches really nicely to the uh, to the intake ports. There's no tab to hold that gasket on, so I'm holding it on with my finger. And I put the intake manifold on, RTV and everything, but it I did not pre-size uh, it. I didn't think I would have to, but it turns out that this is unusual manifold, and those center bolts 
are, I don't know, to fit something else, like a Vortec or something. So I put on my uh, dyno manifold there. It's a Victor Junior small block Chevy that has bolt holes to go onto an LT1, so it's dual purpose. So for now, that's getting ready for the dyno. And thanks for listening. Carlo, I know engines. Take care.